What if I told you there was a simple way to reduce stress levels by almost 70% while simultaneously increasing your career prospects by at least 50%? Would you be interested? Teddy Roosevelt and Winston Churchill took advantage of this, as did Abraham Lincoln, Marilyn Monroe, and Reese Witherspoon. By the way, this works regardless of your field. Even if you're in an accounting, finance, accounts payable, or professional. When I found the statistics I'm about to share with you, I was thrilled because it meant that whenever I sneak some time for this activity, I wasn't really goofing off, but rather improving my work skills as well as having some fun. Best of all, I've got the numbers to back up my thesis. And by the way, I'm not talking about focusing on serious stuff. I'm talking about fun stuff like mysteries, romance, and science fiction, as well as more serious work. Yes, I'm talking about reading. You won't believe just how good it is for you and your career. Stick around until the end when I share how reading in a really unique way can help with that one professional skill most folks have a difficult time with and even more hate or fear. We're going to talk about reading and stress, so we're going to start right there. We've all got it. Did you know that studies show that reading reduces stress levels 68%? Another study revealed that avid readers were found to be 10% more likely than people who don't read to have better self-esteem. However, that figure goes up to 18% of people who read for 30 minutes or longer each day when that is factored in. Don't think you have time? Bill Gates says he reads for over an hour every day. Mark Cuban says he reads three hours a day, while Warren Buffett devours 500, 500 pages a day. So if they can find the time to fit in reading, you probably can as well. In fact, Bill Gates says he reads about 50 books a year. So do I, but I'm guessing that we're not focused on the same books. On my front, a good 30 to 40 of them are mysteries. How many do you read in a year? Let us know in the comments below. Let's talk now about reading and job success, because after all, that's why you're probably listening to me. There are two sets of numbers you might want to focus on. Reading books of fiction is shown to increase better decision making in people by 50 to 100 percent. That is a huge increase. What's more, reading fiction can increase connectivity in the brain and improve empathy and understanding of others. As we mentioned earlier, we're not necessarily talking about serious books or books related to your profession. Although I certainly wouldn't mind if you included one or more of my accounts payable books in your repertoire, but I'm off on a tangent. There's also a link between income and reading. 86% of the folks with an average annual income of $75,000 or more say they read one or more book, they've read one or more books in the last 12 months. You know who else is an avid reader? Elon Musk. He has talked about reading the encyclopedia as a child. Now, I'm sure most of us haven't done that, but perhaps a few of us has. But this is a man who certainly knows a thing or two about success. Other well-known readers who are giants in their field include, include Jeff Bezos, Sheryl Sandberg, Oprah Winfrey, Barack Obama, Reese Witherspoon, and LeBron LeBron James. Now, before I get to the really startling, and I find funny, impact reading can have on your career, I'm curious about your favorite authors. Right now, I am anxiously awaiting new books from Louise Penny, whose mystery set in Three Pines make me wish I could visit there, and Anthony Horowitz's next installment in the Hawthorne, Hawthorne series. They leave me in wonder as he mixes real life with fiction. He does this so well, it's sometimes difficult to tell where reality ends and fiction begins. Also, this is a bit of a departure from the normal accounting accounts payable payment and function and finance stuff we talk about on this channel. And I'm wondering what you think. I'd like to request that if you like this, you hit the like or the thumbs up button to let both this channel and me know so that this information may be shared with more people and perhaps I should make more like it. A big thank you from me to all of you who did that for me because that was a personal favor. So let's talk about reading and the future. 
Did you know that children scoring in the top 20% in reading achieve 50% higher levels of lifetime financial and personal success? Clearly, this means we need to encourage reading. For another survey, we re revealed that if children read for an additional six minutes every day, their reading performance could increase by 100%. And that's not really too much to ask. How important in this, is this? Yet another survey shows that reading habits have more influence on educational attainment than socioeconomic status or having a parent with a degree. That's nice, you're probably saying, but you promised to show us how reading can help with that one professional skill most have a difficult time with or even fear. Of course, I'm talking about public speaking. Now, I promise I did not make this last bit up, but did you know that reading aloud to your, your pets can actually improve your own public speaking skills? At first, I thought this was ridiculous, when, but when I thought about it, it made sense. If we read aloud, paying close attention, we're more apt to infuse emotions and proper inf inflections to make a point. This will make someone a better speaker than someone who just drones on. Reading what helps with public speaking in other ways. It enhances your language proficiency by exposing you to new words and phrases. A study published in the Journal of Verbal Learning and Verbal Behavior reports that avid readers tend to have a more extensive vocabulary. The study found that individuals who read regularly have vocabularies that are, on average, 20% larger than those who don't. The National Endowment for the Arts reports that avid readers are more likely to excel in all forms of communication, including public speaking. The report indicates that individuals who read frequently are 12% more likely to have strong communication, still, communication skills. So reading helps not only with public speaking, but the communication you need to do with your peers, your colleagues, customers, suppliers, staff, and management. Another benefit is that it helps your communication efforts improving your written and verbal presentations in the workplace. Often, the first impression you will make will be with an email that your boss's boss or someone even higher in the food chain is copied on. Developing your vocabulary and deepening your language comprehension will help you project intelligence and command respect from both your peers and management. The more words you understand and use, the stronger your ability to communicate will be. One of the reasons so many either fear public, fear public speaking or dislike it so much is that they unnecessarily, like Meryl Streep and Tom Hanks and 86% of the rest of the world, suffer unnecessarily from imposter syndrome. We feel so strongly about this issue that we did a separate video on it with insights about how you can slay the imposter syndrome dragon. You can watch it right now using the link that has appeared on your YouTube screen and description.